Okay, let's talk about the plan and how oh, I betrayed you Hunter, and everything. You get the deciding vote. About what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way? We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This is I'm... it. Trust me. Arthur, if it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. I've you haven't been... Before. Exactly, you haven't been right been about right. a lot of things for a long yeah, time now. So. Quit doubting, Arthur. It does no favors. Come on. We need to go see a man about a boat. He's such a minor. A boat? I say. We're headed to a settlement called Le Grand. I met a boatman there called Thomas who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See? I do still possess some capacity for rational thought. Or I don't agree, but okay. Okay, follow me. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Hosea's lost his spine. But this move on Bronte, is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up. And lest we forget, took Young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people. Let alone what it takes. I think he has forgotten how one can overseas. make money and that there are other ways With than robbing banks. Such, is this Tahiti plan really going to work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith! I am bending over backwards to make a future for us! I know, but... But! 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 When did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which it we It kind of feels like you're not in the together, everything. Dutch, because as soon as we I say know. something, we are always you're in the right. wrong. Just feels like we're on borrowed time again. Oh, I, mean, I don't know it. Maybe by, I don't know, us. getting a real job? Yeah. We Maybe? Need to move. And soon. Haven't I made that clear? I feel like I'm going in circles with all of you. Micah is the only one left with any loyalty. Now, that ain't fair. You are talking like John. 
I swear that woman is poisoning him against me. I've seen it before. What's the problem here? There ain't a problem. You think Micah would question going after Bronte? No. He'd say, let's go. This is male I'm confidence. Here, like, everyone is against him. For 20 years. But instead of thinking he I... might be in the wrong, he just thinks everyone I... else is in the wrong. I'm sorry, son. It's just the endless debate about everything is wearing me down. The others, I can take. But when you're not behind me, it hurts. I'm behind. Blackwater. Valentine. Rhodes. Sean. Kieran. I promise. None of it will be in vain. We are going to make it. Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. I think what annoys me, Jonathan, is that he talks about staying low and all of that. Thomas, and then he pulls off these big robberies. Good to see you, my friend. Hello, Mr. Dutch. Thomas, have you met Arthur? Arthur? Thomas is quite the boatman. He's going to help us get close to our prey. The other night we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. Now, my friend. Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? It shouldn't take too long if we can find him. Be live. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. Hey. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. Wow. I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a wow. jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, oh, Mr. Okay, Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay mm. on the high ground. You walk very slowly, guys. So That's why ground. I'm it feels like, like water to me. I'm, I'm a little bit... Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. S struggling. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. I'm gonna stay right behind... Oh, shit. I'm not gonna stay right behind Dutch, because that would mean that I'm fading the dress. Okay, what are we doing? Should we walk in here at night? Look out for company. Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. Can this feels very risky. This one's empty. Alright. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going out to Angelo Brunson? Oh, he's Whoa. much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. The waterline is just on the right height, guys. Caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. He's nobody bothering you now, except for the night folk sometimes. The night folk. Yep, some strange people. Okay, I'm not sure this is how you're supposed to do these things. Like, we well, could almost be swimming. Better and better. Mm. 
Whoa. Stop where you are. That's it. The one swimming by? Just stay as still as you can. Mm hmm. I am. I play tag of baby, I know how to be still. You should be in the clear, it's still there in the white. It's the salt tail. I small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jewel so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find him. It's going down again. Okay, okay, everything is fine. What if the dude in front of us suddenly disappears? The hand it was off. This trap is stuck in the mud. It happens. Mm-hmm. Sure. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My God. So what? Ah, it's broken. There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was. No, but only some huge could do this. Oh, fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. Should we just keep moving? Mm -hmm. I don't really want to hang around here much longer. I, for one sake, right. be with you. I suppose this can wait. Let's go. Hold up. I see them. Guys, I didn't want to do that. Mm, that one is hanging around. What's she saying, dude? My God, there's no shortage of them. Good eating. Us or exactly. Come on. We really should have run into jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your eyes open. Wait! I feel very much at home. Absolutely. Never seen anyone more at home than me. Watch me do this only with the uh, dead eye out. Everything will be fine. Hey! Someone there? Jules? Gavin? 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 Hello? Gav! Jules? Someone there? Jules? 
Hey, where do we go? Need to cover quite a big area. Nice. Now, as I remember, you don't follow the voices, the sensual, soft voices of sexy women. Hey, you in a tree? What are you doing? There's a monster. In the swamp. Um. Okay, can I go back? You okay up there? There's a monster. Where? Monster been nearly eight. It's, it's out there. What? A big gator. Biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. You must be Jules. Yes. Where is... Sorry. Over there. It's right there. I ran. I... No. Okay. <laughs> and, uh... Just to swim off to. I think that way. I don't know what that way it is. Uh, how about you get into the boat? I get into the boat and then we go find the others. Okay. Thanks for letting me know. I got the scale! It's over here! Yep, let, any, let everyone know. Stop! to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. Thank God. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules? We are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was going to be out here all night. What you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Nonsense. Oh, boy. I think we hit a tree stump. Hey, I thought we cleared. You're going to need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. <laughs> You'll see any giant monster <laughs> long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple crack gunslingers here with the guns loaded. You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Yeah, neither did you. It's just a myth, Jules. Now pull. Does he need to get the revope out that much? Can he not just pull, boy? He's so gonna die. He's so gonna die. He is so gonna die. Is that how we're reacting to someone? What am I gonna do though? I don't have any weapons. What do you expect me to do? Also like how Arthur just like, oh it's... Oh, fuck all of you, okay? I'm in here with a big fucking alligator in the water and you're just shouting at me. I'm coming. Hold on. Get the thing off me. Help. I got you, Sim. I got you. Oh. 
God, no. Yeah, this wound is gonna get so infected. Shoot something. Hurry up, oh. Like that is an open wound in fucking swamp water. I'm not gonna look back. I'm not gonna look back. I'm not gonna look at what they're shooting. Shit, my stamina. Put him here. Come on. Give him here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my god. It's there. Finish that son of a bitch! Sir, you're gonna be alright. Just hold on. He's coming right for Uh, reloading. Okay, this is fine, everyone. This is absolutely fine. We are not gonna die at all. Um, this is your comment. Look at the size of this. Listen, he's still behind us. You're just gonna show? Be okay, son. Gonna be okay. Just thank your old uncle Dutch. I heard that. There's still a lot of blood. You need to put pressure on it. I'm doing it. I've stopped the bleeding. I think he'll be okay if he don't get a fever. He, did he? I think he fainted. I mean, he will very likely probably a fever have a fever so because. Um, hello, guys, back. guys. God. Guys, put every bullet you got at him. Hold on, let me get something for my shit. Don't let him get it. Oh, sir. Oh, my God, I need to do that. I mean that 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 one he could so easily just okay. flip us over, like li literally. Now, Jesus, can we get back now? <sighs> You're gonna be okay, kid. Sorry, Jules. Guess all them stories was true. Big and bad. That's unusual. Normally, the little ones are angry. Big ones is lazy. Well. I guess he never outgrew his anger. Kind of reminds me of you, Arthur. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you squeal before, Dutch. <laughs> I weren't the one squeal. Yeah, well, you weren't in the water with him. And this poor boy was nearly dinner. <laughs> Can we get some help? Uh, Jules has been bitten. Uh, oh, my God. There's a monster out here. Uh, he's been bitten, but he's alive. Uh, Just keep him warm. Uh, Feed him garlic for the infection. Thank you. Both of you. I'm at your service anytime you need. Oh, thank you, Thomas. Where can we find you? You just meet me back here. Very good. Uh, can one of you help me put the boat back out? Sure. I'm gonna head back to camp and placate the irritable Miss O'Shea, who's causing more trouble. I'll collect the boys. Meet you back here, Arthur. <clears throat> Mr. Arthur? <clears throat> Old Bronte. Bad man. I know. Killed some good folks. Hurt a lot of people. Well, he definitely lacks a certain charm. I'll see you soon. You be safe. We got monsters out here. Well. Okay. Nice, nice. Oh, good. <laughs> 